Introduction of Motor The motor module is the component that powers the robot, which is divided into large motor and medium motor. The large motor looks like a big chicken leg from a distance and has a high output power and torque force, which is usually used as robot driving force. The medium motor is more compact than the large motor, and the output power and torque force is smaller, so it is usually used as the joint power of the robot. How the motor works The motor has a built-in encoder, so the rotation angle can be recorded and the function of making the motor rotate at an accurate angle can be realized. The encoder records with a positive and negative difference, which can distinguish whether the motor is in forward or reverse rotation. Hardware testing The motor can be connected to any M port of the controller. Here we choose the M1 port to connect and turn on the controller, then click the motor icon on the main interface to enter the motor setting. Click here to control the motor speed. Click the right button to switch the direction of motor torque output. Click the bottom button to switch between manual or automatic mode. Built-in encoder test. Click the encoder icon on the main interface of the controller to perform the built-in encoder test. The value here shows the current motor operating status. Click the button in the lower left corner to clear the encoder record. Start encoding. In ZM Robo 3.0 programming software, there are two kinds of motor commands. One is the motor command that can only control the rotation speed, and the other is the servo motor command that can control the rotation speed and angle. The difference between the two types of commands is that the motor command will power off after the command is executed, and the motor rotor can be turned by hand. When the servo motor command is executed, it will enter the locked state and maintain the specified angle. At this time, the rotor cannot be rotated by hand. There are also two types of servo motor commands. One is the setting servo motor command and the other is the waiting servo motor command. The difference between these two types of commands is that they are blocking and non-blocking, which means that setting servo motor executes the next command while it is rotating, whereas the waiting servo motor command executes the next command only after it has rotated to a specified angle. For example, here is a demonstration of the program that contains a setting servo motor command and a waiting servo motor command. Please note the difference between the two at runtime. This is the introduction of the motor. Thanks for watching.